So this is the original Calamity experience. It's a really good mod on its own, but we can definitely improve it. Like this! Here is 27 mod to improve the Calamity experience. By the way, if you want to install these mods, you can install the mod pack in the description. Then in game, go to the workshop, then mod pack, then click on open mod pack folder, plus the mod pack you downloaded, click view mods on the mods browser, and click download all. So, first, let's talk about the content mod itself Calamity. So I won't really describe this one since we all know it really well, but Calamity is the biggest content mod out there, which adds hundreds of hours of gameplay even after the moon load, adding dozens of bosses and thousands of items. But we will add alongside it the Calamity mod music, so that we can hear the awesome track made by DM Dokuro and CD Music. Then for our last content mod related to Calamity, we will add the Inferno mod. So if you feel like it, you can play with the Infernum difficulty, which makes the bosses extremely difficult with some new attack patterns. But the mod also adds some new structures, weapons and a sub-dimension that contain a new boss. So if you want to install this mod, you will need to install Subword Library and obviously the Calamity mod itself. Now, let's talk about world generation. To improve the world generation, we will install the Remnants mod. This mod will completely change your world generation by adding a ton of new structures like these castles in the underground or by redoing the entire dungeon, temple and pyramids. But also adding other things like this new mini biome under the ocean or generating these enormous clouds and new sky structures. It also changes the way that caverns and ore veins generate. It's an absolutely essential mod if you want to feel something new while playing Terraria. This mod will require Structure Helper and Wombat's general improvements to work. Next up, let's go over some mods to improve the immersion. First off, we have Terraria Ambience. This mod adds some cool ambient sounds like bird chirping when you're outside, muffled sound when you're underwater, and even some echo when you're underground. It adds so much new sound effect, I really recommend you install this mod. And you'll need the Terraria Ambience API in order to run this mod. Another great immersion mod is Lights and Shadow, that adds some beautiful light effects looking similar to shaders in Minecraft. And you also get some very cool effects during the night, especially with those bushes added by the Remnants mod. Next thing we will add is not a mod, but a texture pack, the Calamity Texture Pack. This pack resprites every single item and tiles to make the game look so much better. For example, look at the Hellstone bar, which I think looks absolutely great. And if you don't like the look of the in-game UI, you can install Storm Dark UI to make every UI element darker. Now let's quickly go over some mods that add minor tweaks like color damage type. The damage will be orange if you deal melee or rock damage, green for ranger damage, blue for mage damage and pink for summoner damage. Or another small mod is summoner UI, which has these two bars to count how many summons and sentries you can use. Or Aqus shop quotes that add these little quotes when you hover over an item in an NPC shop so they can tell you what the item do. And better blending will make the tiles blend better together like dirt and clay blocks. True tooltip will rework the way that item tooltip looks and also allows for some customization. Melee FX Plus will add this cool slashing animation for every melee weapons. Improved movement visual will make the player lean when walking. Lastly, for the minor tweaks, we have Armament Display, a mod that will display the weapon that you are holding on your back. To finish off, let's talk about some quality of life mods. First, let's talk about the obvious ones. Cheat Cheat and Heroes mod are both cheat mods that add this UI on the bottom of the screen to do action like giving items, spawning enemies and NPCs, copy and paste structures, change time of the day and much more. 
Next up is Recipe Brother. First you have to set up a keybind to open this menu, which allows you to see any crafting recipes and enemy drops. So this mod is really practical, especially for the boss mode stage of the game, where the crafting recipes get really complicated. Then for our next mod we have Boss Checklist. This mod adds this button, which opens a list of every boss, including every modded boss, all of their loots and ways to summon them. And there's also a progression system if you don't want to get spoiled. Then we have two very important quality of life mods, Louis AFK and Quality of Life. You probably already know Louis AFK since it was really popular back in 1.3. This mod adds lots of items to make your life easier, like all of those items which can be obtained from 30 potions to craft an infinite version of this potion. But other items are included like infinite versions of items like torches or the arena platform builder which allows you to create a 200 block arena. And the second quality of life mod is simply called quality of life. And even though some of the features added by this mod, like making potion infinite when you have 30 of them, is already included in the Louis FK mod, this mod is still really interesting because of the extended configuration. As you can see there is a lot of options, and it's way too much to cover all of them here. So if you want more information about the mod, I did a video a while ago reviewing the mod but since there has been a lot of updates, so the video is probably a bit outdated. And in this mod there is this item dropped by King Slime called Wand of Space that allows you to create arenas which I included in one of my guides and I can't even count how many comments I got asking me where it come from, so I guess that now you know. And if you're tired of organizing your chest, then install the Magic Storage mod. A mod that adds this item which you place together to create a storage system. Really practical for crafting an organization. The next mod feels a bit like cheating, but no pylons restriction, which as the name implies, removes every restriction when using pylons, meaning that now you will be able to teleport to pylons from anywhere in the map, place multiples of a single pylon, and don't need NPC happiness to buy pylons. And you can also tweak which restrictions get removed in the settings. Next mod is Alchemist NPC Light that adds 7 new NPCs. Most of them are pretty useless, but the only good NPC is the Brewer that solves every vanilla and calamity potions. Another really cool mod is Point Shop. When killing enemies in certain biomes, you will earn points, points that can later be used in this shop to buy items related to the biome in which you are. Though some items are only unlocked after beating certain bosses. And for our last mod, we have World Gen Previewer which I find to be really interesting since it allows you to see the world's generation while it's happening. It's really useful in our case since we'll be able to see any bugs in the world generation due to conflicts between the remnants and calamity mod. Or can also be used to see if your evil biome has spawns inside your jungle. And that's it for this video! Hopefully you found some of the mods interesting and useful for your next playthrough.